Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Daily Pick a Card. So today, four cards came out. So just so you know, I do pick a card a little bit differently, or at least I've started so this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each card, and then I'm going to give the storyline, and at the end, I will do the all signs, okay? So, you know, I wanted, yesterday I was meditating, and there's just this vision that played out in my head, and I wanted to talk about that first. And, you know, it's like, when you lose electricity, and you're in the dark, what is it that you, what is it that you do? You immediately go probably for your phone to turn the flashlight on or actually go look for a flashlight or a candle, a lighter, what have you, because you cannot see, right? So <clears throat> there's a strong message here that spirit's trying to get through that in the physical realm, when you're in darkness, you reach for light. Spirit wants you to look towards your higher power, whether whatever it is you believe in, God, spirit, divine, universe, angels, okay? For your mental, your spiritual and emotional darkness that you hold within and I feel like for four cards to come out today which rarely ever happens in the time that I've done pick a cards because I've you know it's like I was really pushed to start doing those this week there's always a reason nothing's coincidence right but it's like there's just a strong sense that it's time allow the higher power to step in and bring you the light and be open to it okay you don't have to stay in darkness so let's get started card number one is the lovers hold on because i can't scratch these cards out let me get a sticky because i don't want to be banned from youtube for the God, this is hard. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So, these cards are not, I'm not able to mark them out. And I guess maybe, I don't look at the cards a lot before I, unless they flip out forward. But anyway. Give me a second because there is a lot of energy here. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. All right. The number six is on the lover's card. We are in the sixth month. We are in June. It is time to make a choice, right? And, you know, that's pretty much the general of, of, and, you know, people look at the lovers and it's like, oh, love, you know, and, oh, is my past person coming back? This is going to be deeper than that. Whatever choice you are being presented with is going to determine the balance you have and whether or not you're going to get the inner peace within yourself. It's like, what are you, what types of choices perhaps ha are you resenting? I shouldn't have done that. Are you keeping yourself stuck and not healing? And it's really time to be honest with yourself. But there's something you have got to accept. You have free will, right? We all do. But you can see that there is a mountain between these two people. Hang on, let me fix this. Ooh. There is a mountain. 
to me that's signifying there's some type of barrier. And this doesn't need to be just in love. I really want you to think about this. This, for some of you, this, th there is a choice. Could it be love? Absolutely. It could be about career. It could be about a family member. It could be about a situation. It could be about anything. And it could be about more than one thing. But there is a barrier preventing you from your balance. <clears throat> You have an opportunity here for choosing your destiny, whether you believe it or not. I get the heavy sense of fearing something and spirit wants you to connect with your inner self at a deeper level. Ask for guidance from spirit, ask for help from your spirit guides, your angels, again, whatever your higher power, whatever it is you believe in. Give me a second, I need water because it's like. Stop looking towards external influences whether it's a person, whether it's a place, whether it's a situation, for your happiness. You know, for the longest time, I always looked towards my ex-husband as defining my happiness. And I'm sharing this because a lot of you have gone through experiences like this. I've had a job where I look towards it to satisfy me and fill a void within me. And over the last two years, I have grown so much and it feels so good. And I can tell you, if you would have told me two years ago, I would be in this situation right now, I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't have believed all the things would have worked out for the best. I would feel as good as I do. I wouldn't have believed it. Because from a human perspective, we're not able to even grasp the momentum of what our higher power has for us, how things just start coming together like puzzle pieces. It's beyond our imagination. And because we can't see it, we don't believe it. This is very powerful. I feel like this whole message is gonna be very powerful today. I can feel it. So, take your experiences. See what is incomplete. And no, it's not gonna be easy because it's never easy. It's gonna be uncomfortable and it's, it requires work. We're always gonna be required to do work. But that's what brings the best out in us and that's when we start manifesting so quickly and things start moving rapidly. I even tell myself, if I knew then what I knew now, I wouldn't have stayed so stuck. So stuck on wanting to change someone to make them, to, to make things different. Instead of giving to everything else and everyone else, it's time to choose you and give yourself love and compassion Both of these individuals are not dressed, right? And I'm sure there are many people here that are not comfortable just walking around with no clothes. And if, you, and if you're confident enough, then that's great. I know I'm not, right? I mean, that's just, that's a work in progress for me, right? Um, not that I would just walk out in public like that. But I mean, you know, we all have some type of confident issues with how we look, how we feel, right? 
But the message about that is you have to bear it all right now. You need to take everything off in a metaphorical sense, okay? And, and I'm trying to see how I can word this. Um, what, you know, it, for example, if she was wearing a coat, is it too heavy, right? What is weighing you down? What is not making you feel free and happy? And when you do this, it's going to be uncomfortable, but the heaviness needs to be removed. It's like it's been weighing you down. It's been holding you back. Do you fear someone leaving your life? Do you fear you're not enough? Do you, you know, it's like no more excuses. Ask yourself, what are you afraid of? Some of you are resisting to feel. And it is time to look the fear in the eye. Get clear and speak your truth with love here. Now is the time. What is it that you want? Because it's it's like, there's so much energy right now I'm feeling to just push you and, and trying to make you see. And for some of you, you've really been struggling with this for quite some time. And let me give an example. If you're waiting on a past person to come back, would you trust them based on how they treated you? I'm going to tell you 99% are going to probably say, no, I wouldn't trust them. Which leads you to be insecure, which leads you to feel like something's wrong with you. And spirit is trying to shake you and say, why do you want to stay in this energy? Because I'm trying to show you that this person doesn't deserve you. You are on a higher level. I have something better for you, but I need you. I need you to hold on to me and let me be your light to show you the way to bring you out of this darkness. Wow. That is, <clears throat> that is very emotional. Okay. Let's go to the next card. And actually, <clears throat> I looked at the clock. It was 13 to 13. Look up that angel number. <laughs> wow. Oh, I got to get another sticky. Hang on, guys. I don't want to be banned from YouTube. And I can't scratch these out. I love these cards. They're so pretty. All right. Sorry. But I got to. <laughs> All right. So. We have the world. Completion, right? So we, so far, we have two major arcanas, and I'm going to tell you now, with four com cards coming out this morning, there's a storyline here. So you might as well start watching from the beginning <laughs> to get the full storyline, because that's just what I feel at this moment, based on what I just read from the lover's card. You know, when I normally look at the world card, it's like... I look at it as that hamster wheel and, you know, getting off those repetitive cycles and patterns and behaviors that we display that keep us stuck and keep us right on the edge of teetering of starting something new. And today I'm getting something similar, but yet a little different. It's like finish what you started because it's time to tie up the loose ends. 
she has two wands in her hand, signifying that you hold the power. It's time for you to graduate. And I really get the feeling that there is a, you know, with the, the two wands, one is speaking of the internal work that you've done or you're in process of doing. And the other one is about the other, it is about external work. Those things around us. Also about weighing things, pros and cons. Looking at this journey that you've been on because this is the last card of the major arcana before you start your new journey, right? Because now you're gonna, you know, the next card is technically the full, starting at zero. But assessing the ups and downs, the give and take, the success and the failures. And without failures, we cannot have success, right? Honor the journey you've been on because it has made you so much better as an individual. And unfortunately, that requires pain, right? because it teaches us things, what not to do. Look for red flags, right? There is a strong message here of acceptance. Accepting what is to move forward, a new journey. You have new work to do. It's like turn the page and let's create a new chapter here because it's time to commit to yourself. And for a lot of you, it's like, you feel like you can't even go another day and it's like spirits, like you're right there. I'm telling you, you're right there. <sighs> All right, let's see. Card, <coughs> excuse me, card number three strength. Wow. We have three major arcanas so far. I'm going to tell you, if you pick card three, you might just want to start from the beginning because I am definitely getting, you know, at the end, I give a, like a storyline and then I'm going to pull all signs, but I feel like this is just a storyline period that you need to hear everything and the depth I've gone through already with these, the, the lovers in the world. So with the strength card, I feel like, okay, let's take a deep breath because it's time to be daring and brave, have courage. And you know, yes, when you look at the strength card, if you watch Tara, you know it means courage, right? But what does courage mean? Do something that scares you. And I'm not saying to go put your hand in a lion's mouth, right? But that depiction says it all. That's really scary. But it's meant to be. Because Again, there are three major arcanas here and spirit is saying, now is the time to overcome the fear. I need you to trust me. Face the fear, face the pain, face the hurt, the grief, the negative thoughts, the triggers, Have, I want to give you the mental, physical, and emotional strength here to persevere. But I need, it's like, it's like, but I need you to start taking the steps towards it. 
I need you to take steps. I need you to move forward. Courage is a choice. Courage is a choice. The lovers is a choice, right? And it's a choice to confront the darkness within you, the uncertainty, even perhaps intimidation. And spirit is like trying to tell you, you can no longer withdraw. Be strong. Let your heart take on courage. Courage is the matter of the heart here. And matter of love. It's a time of moderation. It's time to exercise a conscious choice to bring in the manifestations. With that infinity symbol, which is on the magician, it's like, I'm trying to bring you your manifestations, but I need you to get over your fears. Tame that beast within you that's in your head telling you other things that are not true. Because spirit wants to bring magic to you. And I shared some of my own story when I was going over the lover's card. Like if I knew then what I knew now and knew I'd be in such a great place, I wouldn't have resisted. And that is what I'm trying to tell you. Like I would have never imagined over the last two years, all the things that has happened to me would have ever come to fruition. And yes, it required a lot of hurt. It required me to give myself self-love, learn self-love, remove codependency on others. And I promise you, you have the strength to do it. But we allow that voice in our heads to tell us otherwise. And I'm here to tell you, you got this. Okay. What a beautiful message this morning. I just feel this is such, somebody has to hear this. Even if it just resonates with one, I've gotten through to somebody. All right, let's see what the fourth card is. Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right, so if you're just tuning in and you selected card four, I'm going to tell you, I typically do a story at the end once after I go over all four cards, but I'm going to tell you, you might just want to start with the lover's card because there is a huge message here. Okay. Knight of Cups, follow your heart's desires. Knights are travelers. They are also messengers. But I'm just getting the feeling it's time to travel on a new path here. And all these three cards prior are tell, is telling me that you're taking the steps. You have to first make the choice. You have to then end the cycles, come across that finish line. Yes, and during this process, you're going to have fears. You need to have the strength the courage, and then seeing the Knight of Cups. And note, the Knight of Cups is facing this way. Okay, I'm leaving this behind me. I've made the choice to leave whatever has not served me, whether that's people, places, things, behaviors, patterns. I'm moving forward. I'm so glad this card came out. The Knight of Cups represents all forms of love, right? Want, love for partner, spouse, family, friends. Places, right? He allows nothing to keep him from opening his heart. Not fear, not shame, not embarrassment. And I do feel that a lot of you struggle with you have a hard time expressing your feelings, your emotions, getting a sense of being timid. 
ask yourself, do you, you know, do you fear opening yourself up? Because again, it's like there's a need to heal emotions of confusion, heal the need to isolate yourself, you know, and, and address how you feel. It's time to open your heart. And again, this is not just about romantic love here. It's about love for everything, love for life, love for yourself. Because when you open your, your heart to love, you unblock everything and you attract love coming back to you in all forms. You know, like this knight has armor on, right? And it's like I'm getting this sense that like we've all become wounded warriors, right? Wounded soldiers, whether it be from betrayal, deception, some type of loss. But Spirit is saying, allow for new things, new experiences to replace the past hurts, whatever that is for you. And it doesn't need to be just one thing. It could be from your childhood, the way your parents treated you. Yes, it could be from a lover. It's time to replace it. But you must be open. And most importantly, you're going to have to be vulnerable. And for some of us, that is very hard. Remove thoughts of, you know, I'm not good enough. Because spirit's saying, you know, the night is on a horse, which means movement. It's time to move. And it's like, I keep getting the energy like that cup is the Ace of Cups. I am going, it is now time, I am moving towards emotional abundance. All forms of abundance. Because love brings in all forms of abundance. And sometimes it's really hard to go with our heart and when I say our heart meaning our true our higher self what is really best for us but it's time and it's moving and I can tell you 2023 with all the astrology and the just the, the different things things are being shaken up I said this in a reading in December things are getting knocked out the way Because it is time to come to realizations and move forward. Wow. Okay. So let me move some of these out of the way so I can do the um, all signs. Give me just a second. All right. Let me get, I know that's crooked, but it is what it is. All right. Let's see. Alright, sorry this is bothering me. Let me fix this. Oh well. Alright, Aries. So, if you're just joining, there's a huge storyline, you know, for this whole thing. So, I would just, you might as well just start from the lovers because there's a lot of messages here. And I feel like I've pretty much covered everything within each of those cards huge movement here a really like spirit is so you're being so divinely protected and, and guided but you need to take action and listen okay what flipped over well they have the ten of swords let's see you know and i'm noticing you have all the um you have every element here. You have air. 
you have earth, fire, and water. Coming into balance. All right, let's see. Aries. Spirit, what does Aries need to know today with this reading? <laughs> Strength card. Wow. Have the courage to bring in. It's time for your manifestations to come in. Have the courage. Have the strength. Courage is about facing those fears. Taming that beast within yourself. Those thoughts, you, those negative things you tell yourself. You, you need to know you are stronger than you think. You are way stronger than you think. I am putting these cards back because if it's meant to come out for another sign, it's meant to come out for another sign. So, all right, let's see. What do we have for Taurus, Spirit? What do we have for Taurus? Taurus, please, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Two more shuffles. Ooh. Two of Cups in reverse. Some of you are just staying stuck. And it doesn't have to be in love. I think you're really combating what your intuition is telling you and what your ego is telling you. And it's out of balance because you have a feminine and you have a masculine here. Some of you are certainly stuck on a person and it's keeping you stuck in the situation or you're staying stuck in the situation. It could be with work. Knowing that maybe I'm not happy, but it, it pays the bills. Spirit's saying, I have something better for you. Trust, take, start taking action for something else here. It's like there is an imbalance. There could be miscommunication. Your ego could be getting in the way, someone else's ego. Your ego could also be wounded, right? And it happens to all of us. But stop throwing. It's like stop adding more fuel to the fire here. There's something you need to listen. There's something you need to hear. And I am getting the sense something needs to be conveyed around feelings because cups are about emotions. Okay. And that can be with a job. It doesn't need to be again, but love, it can be. All right. Gemini, what do we have for Gemini spirit? Please give me guidance for Gemini. I feel like there's just a lot of resistance. I'm feeling just a lot. Of... Page of wands. Yeah. Look, he's facing this way. It's time for a new adventure. You're growing. You know, he is not as tall as this wand, but he's looking up like, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get to this level. Keep going. It's time to be adventurous. It's time to take action. Have that fiery excitement again. It's time to go on an adventure is what I, it's, it's like, it's time. It's time. There could be someone in your life that you do look up to or that has guided you is what I'm getting. Um, but again, it's time. It's even if you're needing to start as a page in something work. Okay. Very good energy here. And I'm getting like something could be happening around a Leo season for you. Like 
maybe you're waiting to hear news of a new job offer or something, but I, I just feel like something, you're going to get some kind of message in around Leo season. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I have to say it. All right. Cancer. What do we have for cancer? Spirit, what do we have for cancer? Two more shuffles. Cancer. Why am I feeling resistance? Queen of Swords. It's time to see clearly. It's time to rise above. She's coming out of the clouds. The Queen of Swords comes across as someone who is cold and detached, but she's not. She has become this way because, especially as cancers, because I am one, we are very emotional creatures and we tend to be, allow our emotions to run external things. And it's saying, no longer allow your emotions to control your decisions. It's clouding your judgment. It's clouding things around you. It's time to stand in the queen of swords. She's been through some shit. Period. And it's like, no more. I'm not going to allow you to walk on all over me anymore. Uh, she is very straight to the point. And again, it's because she's been treated like a doormat. She has been walked on. And she will cut out anything around her that is not good for her. She doesn't play games. She is confident. Some of you could be divorced. The Queen of Swords does represent a divorcee. It doesn't have to be. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. You could be going through a divorce. But now is the time to think clearly, logically, rationally, and not allowing emotions to make decisions. Okay. What do we have for Leo? Leo spirit, what do we have for Leo? Eight of pentacles. Yeah, like focus. It's time to focus. It's time to work on yourself. Some of you, you know, if this is regarding career, very good things coming in your way. I love the eight of pentacles. You're putting in the work. You're putting in the work on yourself, whatever that means for you. It could be love, could be you know, career, but you're putting in the work. You're not going to allow distractions. You're not going to let things, situations, or people distract you because you realize how important it is to focus on you and your happiness. Love that. And again, there's, I feel like there's something you're going to see. I don't know why I'm getting Leo season now. It's like, but the eight, the eighth month. Something in Leo season. You're going to see something. Okay. Virgo, Queen of Cups. A lot of you need to nurture yourself. Give yourself self-love. There could be someone coming in to help you. An older female. Or having a female type of energy. And I'm going to say a lot of you need... to be nurturing to others. There's something with nurturing others. I am getting the feeling that You cannot look towards someone else for emotional fulfillment. For some of you, I feel like there could be a motherly figure around you or in your life. And it doesn't need to be a mother. It could be a father. But I'm just saying from a motherly perspective, like a parent, like that closeness and, and what have you. That you need to heal from. It's like I'm getting, be the person this person wasn't. Whoever that is. Be nurturing, be loving, be caring. All right. 
Libra. What do we have for Libra? Seven of Swords. It's time to, you know, tactics need to change here. Maybe the way you've always done something, maybe it's procrastination, maybe it's the way you've approached situations. It's time to do something differently. Can the Seven of Swords also mean that there's someone around you that has lied or been deceitful, betrayed you, cheated on you? Absolutely. And if that's the case, stop looking back and going forward. Stop keeping this stuck energy. Stop going back to this person and move forward, right? Change your tactics. Change the way you do things. Put yourself first. Scorpio. Stop kidding yourself is what I just heard. To make believe something something is what it's not. Way too many. Scorpio, Scorpio. Two more shuffles. Justice, yeah. Coming into balance. Coming into balance. Understanding there's cause and effect. My actions have consequences, whether they're good or bad. I do feel like if some of you are waiting on some type of perhaps legal matter, it is it, like I feel good about it. I feel that there's balance coming in from the injustice that you've endured. Whatever that injustice was, whether somebody treated you badly, whatever. Could it be a legal matter? Sure. But your actions have consequences and I feel like the things you've been doing, the things you've been putting out, the things you've been doing for others is going to pay off for you. You're coming into balance. You're masculine and feminine inside you, the internal and external. It's coming into balance. Beautiful. Sagittarius, okay, six of wands moving forward. Yeah, moving out of this stuck energy, moving to calmer waters. And even though you may not know what the future holds, you know there's a change ahead. There is a change here. Again, we have the six. Again, just like now. Now is the time to move. If you're asking, if you've been asking for a sign, here it is, Sagittarius. Move on. There's something better you're headed towards. If you just move, just move. What do we have for Capricorn? Nine of Pentacles, abundance. This is pre-Empress energy, you know? Yes, you could be single and, and very abundant. But she also knows I'm keeping these six Pentacles for myself. And I'm willing to give three. Because I know my self-worth enough that I'm no longer giving everyone my Pentacles anymore. In order for me to be solid, in order for me to stay grounded, in order for me to feel abundant and, and have this self-love. Seeing the big picture. You know, with, with, with the bird here, it's like birds fly. They can see over a large area. Finally seeing the big picture and at the same time, like being grounded, staying grounded. And if this is work, it's beautiful. I feel like maybe some of you have put so much work in and other areas of your life have been affected. And now it's like, you know what? I'm going to give this. And as a result, for you recognizing that and balancing that out, it's bringing you some type of prosperity. Take that as that resonates because everybody has different stories. But... Aquarius, that's what I'm getting. 
Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius spirit? Two more shuffles. Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like, and this is air. If you're bitter, overly critical, you have to let that go. There's something you need to heal. Now, this could be a person. It could be a very manipulative person around you that tells you what you want to hear, promises you the world is what I'm getting, promises you the world but never follows through. Cut it out. Cut it out, Aquarius. Because it's time for you to heal and move forward. It's not, you have got to get out of this nothing's fair, that victimhood, because when you make a choice to stay in a situation that you know is not healthy, that makes you feel bad, that you're not feeling good about yourself, you're choosing to stay. And because you're choosing to stay, you're doing it to yourself. Let it go. What do we have for Pisces spirit? What do we have for Pisces? Pisces. Some of you need to, it's so crazy. Some of you need to stop telling yourself things that cloud your judgment even more. Like, I'm just getting strong resistance. Seven of Cups. You got Empress. Yeah. Like, bringing your dreams into a reality now. Making the right choices. Making the right choices here. You are birthing something new. And by making the right choices and not being tempted... into something, how can I put that? Being tempted into something that isn't good for you, there's something you're walking into because you're bringing your manifestations. Instead of fantasizing about it, it's coming in. It's coming, you're seeing it. You're gonna see the growth. You're gonna see something new here. You know, she has the 12, the 12, it's like 12 stars here on her crown, which sim are symbolic of the 12 months. And I feel like you're, you're finalizing a, a, a cycle here. Like there's a reason for the season. There's a reason you've had to experience these things, these different emotions, these different feelings over a course of time because you're becoming the empress. She chases no one. She knows her worth. She is nurturing, loving. If you've been trying to get pregnant or conceive, something's happening with that. Or maybe you had concerns of getting pregnant. You've gone to, you know, you've got, some of you may need to get a different opinion from a doctor on something. And I'm not a health expert, so and I'm not going to pretend like I am because I'm not. I'm not a doctor. But just, there's something here about needing to look at other options if you've had issues with, with getting pregnant. I'm going to read it this way too, Pisces. Be careful if you can get somebody pregnant or you can get pregnant. Especially if you have multiple individuals you deal with. Okay. But for the most part, I'm getting like bringing things into wishing dreams coming true and getting in this Empress fiery energy and feeling like, wow, I can manifest all the things I want. The Empress is all four queens. Balance. Beautiful energy. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.